I have a new microphone. I hope it sounds okay. I guess it's a little echoey. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. I feel like I need an intro soon. A few days ago, I hit 25K on Insta and decided to do a Q&A. This is that Q&A. I might have to clarify that I did say something about being in team no pants, uh, just so y'all understand. I am wearing pants today though. First question is, obviously you're with Ben, but if you weren't, would you ever consider being with someone who isn't into fitness? Um, I feel like fitness is such a big category, such a big concept. If you only look at the physical aspect, I don't really see that as a requirement, even though I'm not complaining about the sleeves hugging. Fitness is so much more than the poses I put on Instagram, flexing the body part that I'm working out for that day. But if you look at the mental aspect of fitness, I actually do believe that that is one of the major reasons why we work so well together. As a person, I'm very intense and very passionate, so I need someone by my side who's just as driven. There's just something about being married to someone who knows exactly what you're doing and why you're doing it. You never have to explain yourself or the things you do. Which kind of segues into the next question. I'm gonna be one of those annoying people and actually say that we have never been in an argument. I really do think that this has so much to do with the mental aspect of fitness. If you truly are happy with yourself and you love yourself first, you're gonna have so much easier of a time to love someone else and give them what they need. Sometimes if I'm frustrated or annoyed or feeling very discouraged, I just take it out at the gym. I feel so much better afterwards. I feel like there's this inner peace and this harmony and balance inside of me. Another thing is that we're working towards similar goals. So it's like we're on the same plane. And I'm such a nerd when it comes to like Tumblr quotes and like universal truths and stuff. But I do feel like there's like universal truths that govern relationships. Like, we're both extremely honest and loyal. That goes so well hand in hand with fitness. If you're not honest or loyal with your fitness journey, you're never gonna get any results. And my favorite thing about him is that he makes me laugh like nobody else. Like, what is that quote? Like, anybody can touch your butt, but find someone who can make you laugh and touch your butt. <laughs> You should try Maria Super Shake. Yes. Five. Not feeling like a victim and not feeling like I've been treated with injustice or like my life is so much harder than anybody else's. Offer offer kofta. As soon as you take off your offer kofta, life becomes so much easier. I'm no longer restricted by my mindset. I'm no longer restricted by my body. I can do whatever I want. If I want to climb a tree, I can but I choose not to because it's scary. Um, and for example, I'm not stressed out by sitting in front of this camera, trying to angle myself to look as skinny as I possibly can. I'm not worried about meeting new people because I'm not trying to put on a facade, trying to be extra nice or extra funny just so they might not care about the fact that I'm overweight. I don't have to calculate how long it will take me to walk somewhere and how early I have to leave so I'm not gonna be sweaty when I get there. My maintenance is about 2,000 calories, and if I'm trying to put on strength and muscle, bulk, I add about 500 calories. Or if I'm trying to diet, I take away calories slowly. I never go below 1,500. The hardest part, I think, is that a lot of people think they know a lot based on very little information. Yes. I will make a video on that. I consider myself being very international and I don't really see myself living in a 
fixed place for a fixed amount of time. I'm sure we will be living in Sweden at some point. I take 10 milligrams of creatine monohydrate every day as well as protein powder when I don't feel like eating any chicken or tuna or something like that. My ultimate goal is to have so much muscle that I can eat whatever I want. I'm kidding, but I would like to be at a point in my life where I can maintain a very lean figure without having to track my exercise or my food. My favorite snack lately has been oranges. Watch this video. I wish I would have seen that like three years ago when I started. Also, be confident in yourself and your research. Honestly, one of the best forms I've ever seen are by people who are very new to the gym because they do their homework, they sit and watch videos and and they and they want to do things right. So take pride in yourself. Like you're you you are you doing good. Y'all are doing real good. Like yeah. Like sometimes I want to go and high five them, but I don't because that's really creepy and I don't want to be the weird lady at the gym who high fives people. But yeah, you're doing really good. Alltså jag försöker tänka att jag gör mitt bästa oavsett situation. Om jag är så trött eller så utmattad, så stressad att jag inte kan ta mig till gymmet så försöker jag tänka att jag har ändå gjort mitt bästa. Jag har tänkt tanken att gå. Nu kan man inte göra det varje gång. Men det är okej okay att missa en workout ibland. Sen ifall jag känner att jag vill göra någonting i alla fall så kanske jag gör en 5 minuters ab core circuit med typ 50 armhämningar och typ 50 triceps grejer. Och några squats typ. Och då har jag ändå gjort mitt bästa för den dagen. Man kan inte alltid jämföra sina prestationer med det, med det bästa passet som man någonsin haft. För att det är inte så det funkar i livet. Jag gör samma sak med maten och kosten. Man får tänka att man är en modern människa i ett modernt samhälle. Och man behöver inte alltid hetsa. Man hetsas till vänster och till höger varje dag ändå. Det är inte hälsosamt att hetsa så himla mycket. Det är liksom okej okay att inte tracka allting man gör hela tiden. Ta det lugnt. Man får hitta en balans och vara snäll mot sig själv. I guess you need to be honest with yourself. Are you really at a plateau or did you just get comfortable? In that case, I like to shock my body in various ways. I'm a firm believer in rotating your stuff, rotate your workouts, your foods, because shocking your body is what gives you the results. Add in some supersets, some giant sets, some tri-sets, some compound movements, some supersets. Did I say supersets already? I think I did. I honestly forget that I have them. I don't really pay attention to them. I forget that I have tattoos, so they don't really bother me. Riding instructor. I got a few questions about CrossFit. And like I said, just do something that keeps you active. Something that you find fun. I don't think I would ever do CrossFit. Um, I feel like weights, especially heavy ones, don't really belong in a timed setting. If I can put that that way without offending like a thousand crossfitters. <laughs> but a lot of that comes from knowing what injured feels like. I need to personally implement perfect form. But I mean, a lot of excellent athletes are crossfitters, but you just really need to be super careful. Do whatever keeps you active. The portion sizes took actually very long time to get used to. Uh, I guess honestly, I'm not still really not used to them, but on the contrary, I actually feel like America has a lot more variety in the health department, health department, food, health, health foods, health food department. When English shopping wasn't really shopping, we kind of walked into a boutique. I saw a mannequin wearing a beautiful dress. I was like, I want that one in my mind. But out of courtesy, I tried on like 35 dresses, but I was like, I know which one I want. And when I put that one on, I cried a little, and then I picked that one. <laughs> right, y'all, that's all the questions for today. We're actually going to Vegas in a few days, and I might do a little vlog. Worst case scenario, it's just gonna be a bunch of clips bunched together. Um, we'll see what happens. Bye, y'all.
Which hand is better? Five, five. That is Pixie snoring. <gasps> Rude.